This is a lecture from Open Tuition. For the free lecture notes that go with this podcast, please visit opentuition.com. This is a lecture on International Accounting Standard Number 37, Provisions, Contingent Liabilities, Contingent Assets. Now, first of all, though, let me explain a little bit of terminology. You already know that uh, from a, a much earlier chapter, you know what an accrual is. An accrual, it's where we owe money. Uh, but we've not yet had the invoice. And so things like an accrual for telephone. You know you owe money for telephone. You've used the telephone for the last few months. But you're not going to get the invoice until next month. We still owe money, but we record it as an accrual, an accrued expense. Well, that word we dealt with. The next one, though, is provision. And a provision is very much the same. It's where we, we owe money. The difference being is where we owe money, but not yet, not sorry, but not certain of the amount or the timing. Now, what I'm getting uh, at there, with telephone, you, you do owe money, obviously, if you've used telephone. And there, we normally it's certain of the amount. Look back to the earlier chapter, but by the time you're recording, you normally see in the invoice, you know exactly how much you're going to pay. Even if you don't know exactly, you can estimate near enough how much you're going to pay. There's not much argument. But can, there can be other amounts we're going to have to pay. Well, we know we're going to have to pay money, but we're not yet certain of the amount. For instance, um, we sell televisions. We're a shop selling televisions. We know that customers always, some customers, return the television as faulty. And we have to do work on it or we have to refund the money. And it always happens. We know we're going to have to um, refund customers for faulty damage, whatever, um, televisions. So at the end of the year, I know that there's absolutely no argument for some of the televisions we sold, we are going to have to pay back the money to customers but i don't know how much it's going to be yet you know maybe in the past it's always been about five percent of the customers so maybe it'll be about five percent next year but we're not sure it may be a bit more it may be a bit less and we're not sure when we're actually going to have to pay it back they may all return them next week it may be another six months well we will show it as owing in the accounts There's no argument. We are going to have to pay money, even though we're not yet certain. So we'll estimate and we record it just like an accrual. We simply change the name. We call it a provision. So that's the definition. Accruals, provisions, effectively the same thing. Accruals, we're certain of the amount. Provision, we're not certain. But be careful because of what's coming. We're certain we'll be having to pay money. It's just we're not certain of how much. Finally, though, where there's a bit of learning, because that was just terminology, is the word contingent. And let me speak through contingent liability. I mentioned the other after. But contingent liability uh, 
What this is, liability, is where we might owe money. Might. But it depends on something else. Now let me give you an example. Suppose our business, a customer's been in and slipped on the floor because it was wet. Uh, and they broke their leg and it's been a big problem. It's cost them a lot in hospital and so on. And they say it's our fault. The floor was wet. It's our fault they broke the leg. And they've taken us to court. And they're claiming they're claiming money from us of a hundred thousand. And so let me write that down. For example, customer has taken us to court and is claiming a hundred thousand. But the problem is, the court case is next month, and we are preparing our accounts today. And the problem is, we might owe 100,000, but it depends on the court case. If the court finds us guilty, fine, we will owe 100,000. But we're claiming it wasn't our fault, and the court may find us innocent, in which case we don't owe any money. So we might owe money, we might not. We call it contingent. It's contingent... Because it depends on the result of the court case. Now I'll give you the answer to the question in a moment as to will we show it in our accounts or not. But see the difference between this and a provision. A provision, we know we owe money. There's no argument. Uh, we, we're going to have to pay money for the faulty TVs. The only problem is we're not certain of the amount. So we would estimate we will show it as owing. We are going to have to pay. But contingent liability, we might owe money. If we'd already had the court case, there's no argument. If we lost the court case, we owe 100, we'd show it as owing. If we win the court case, we don't owe money, we wouldn't show it as owing. But we're not even sure whether we're going to owe money or not. The question is, will we show it as owing in the accounts? Well, there's an accounting standard helps us decide, or not helps us, tells us what to do. And if you look at the table in the notes uh, on this chapter, you'll see, um, I'll mention the end column in a minute, but you'll see a column for contingent liabilities. And the rule is, well, it depends on how likely we are to have to pay. Think about this court case. The court case is next month. Well, we look to see how likely is it that the court will say we have to pay or not have to pay. And the table says if it's virtually certain we'll have to pay, it's there over 95%, then even though it's not 100% certain, if it's almost certain we'll have to pay, we will show it as owing, we'll provide. It's a provision, an accrual. We will show as owing. And the entries would be just like an accrual. We'd record an expense 
In the income statement, it will be owing on the balance sheet. We'll call it a provision. The four categories, though. The next one, they say, if it's probable, and you can see there, if it's more than 50%, 50 to 95, again, we will provide. So although they've put two categories there, they're basically saying, if the chance of the court saying we'll have to pay is more than 50%, We'll show it as owing, even though we might not. It's better to be safe, to be prudent, to be cautious. We'll show it as owing. However, the third category possible. If the chances of the court finding us guilty are between 5 and 50%, we'll simply write a note. So we'll not record in the accounts. So there'll be no accrual, no provision, no expense. We won't show anything in the accounts, but we'll write a note. There'll be a note attached to the accounts, and there'll be a detailed note explaining. It'll say, to inf inform shareholders, there'll be a note saying, uh, somebody's taken us to court, we might have to pay 100,000. The court case is next month, but the chances are... Well, 30% or whatever, between 5 and 50. Finally, the fourth category remote, if it's less than 5%, the chance of us having to pay, we do nothing. We don't show it in the accounts, we don't record it, we don't even bother writing a note. And so there's the rule. Uh, the obvious question is, how do we know the percents? You know, what's the... We're going to court. Is it a 40% chance? Is it 60% chance? And so on. Well, all the accounting st uh, uh, standard says is that we should take proper advice. So in the case of a court case, we'd get the lawyers to tell us, to give us their opinion, their estimate of, of what the chances are of us losing the court case. And subject to what they say, 40%, 60% or whatever, then we'll apply the table. Uh, a lot of you will have heard of uh, Amazon. Books, um, records, uh, order from the internet. If you go on the internet and find their accounts, you will find, if you look at the notes, an awful lot of disclosures where, for various reasons... People are claiming money from Amazon. Perhaps the books were damaged or something, but they're claiming money. But they've been advised that the chances are of having to pay are between 5 and 50%. And so they haven't shown anything as owing in their accounts, but they've had to write notes. And have a look sometime. It's quite interesting. You'll see lots of notes saying, we might have to pay Mr. X this much money, but the chances are 30% or something. Lots and lots of notes. All right, well, that's liabilities. But, of course, it could be the other way around. Maybe we've taken somebody to court and we're claiming 100,000. But will we get it? Won't we get it? It's contingent. It depends on the court case. And we call this a contingent asset. So it's where... We might receive money, but it depends. Well, are we going to show it as owing to us in the accounts? If we're certain we're going to receive money, obviously. We record it as income and we show it as owing to us, a receivable on the balance sheet, the statement of financial position. But what are we going to do where it's contingent? Well, look at the table. They use the same four categories, but they say if it's virtually certain... If it's more than 95% certain we're going to get the money, we'll recognise. And what recognise means, recognise, it means we'll record in the accounts. Uh, we'll record the income, we'll record on the statement of financial position, the receivable. We will show it as owing to us. However, if it's only probable, 
then we'll play safe. We're only going to show this income if it's virtually certain. If it's only probable, we simply disclose in the notes. So we do not record in the accounts, but we write a note. There'll be a note attached explaining how much we'll think we'll win, why we'll get the money, uh, and what the chances are. Uh, finally, though, if it's possible or remote, so if it's less than 50% chance, we'll do nothing at all. There'll be no mention in the accounts. It won't be recorded. Uh, we won't even bother writing a note.